Hey guys, I just want to say, oh my goodness, you have survived the first 10 days of Leap to Lead, and I'm so excited for each and every one of you. Um, I hope you're making really good use of those Leap to Lead journals. Don't wait for me to say, write this down, just do it. If something really speaks to you, I hope you're writing it down. Um, and keeping track of your assignments and using your notebooks even when I don't ask you to. These ideas are the things that I do or we do when we have a slow month or if we just need some ideas generated for the month and sales. Um, these are some of the things that we do to really boost those sales and they are going to be a blessing in your business even well beyond when you leap to lead and you um, promote. It'll be like your library of um, sales boosters. So just keep them in your back pocket, refer to them often, and um, keep, keep taking notes in that journal. So I'm not really shy, but I do have a little bit of shyness um, about me. And there, I'm sure those of you out there that would consider themselves shy, so I have a little bit of something that I want to share with you today that's going to help you out, especially those that are, that are more shy and don't feel like you can just talk to strangers. So how many of you have ever had somebody come up to you and actually say, oh my gosh, do you sell Scentsy? Or, oh, you must sell Scentsy. That's Scentsy on your bag, right? Um, that is a great feeling. It happened to me on my way to Boise um, in Dallas, and it's just, it's a great feeling. It happens to me often, but that was the biggest time because she genuinely is excited and um, interested in signing up for the opportunity. So it's one of those relationships that I'm just continuing to build on. So think about when you're out and things that you can do, sorry. <clears throat> things that you can do to make people come to you instead of you having to go to people. So maybe think about offering a room spray to someone. If you're at church or um, at a daycare or in the gym locker room or something, um, remember that what you give away in this business and in life will come back to you at a later time. And it's a tax write-off, so that's the other thing. Is there something you can give away that will make a difference in your sales? It would really make a difference in your future sales. So another idea is, I love to make my car smell amazing. How many of you have had a car bar hanging from your rear view or sprayed your room spray in your car right before you go through a drive through That happens to me all the time. Or use um, the moisturizing bath bar or the lotion um, and had somebody say, oh my gosh, that smells good in there. It happens to me. Make sure your car smells amazing if you go through drive throughs Starbucks is one of my favorite places. And I always have a sample of the lotion I'm using in my car. And I have room sprays that match the car bar that I have hanging. And of course I have car bars and um, a sample, of course, to give them with my business card. So that's a couple of ideas for you when you're out and about. Take one or two of those. I'm going to put some more ideas um, in the comments so you can sort of peruse and write them down. Um, but I'll go over a couple here. Just take one or two and try to use them in your life in the next couple of days. Um, I just posted last night in the um, team that we are only 9,000 away from our biggest September ever. and that seems maybe to you like a big number, but in the last seven days, we've sold 10,000. And generally the last two days of the month are the biggest in sales. Um, so I know that you can do it. We have 118 people in our group now, and that's just a little bit of sales for every person to be able to boost us up. So anyway, dollar for dollar, um, if you want to raise your sales, if you just put a little bit in to your business, 
maybe to buy a six pack of scent circles on your next party. Get them for half price. Use the perpetual party reward for yourself if you don't have it spoken for. But invest in your business enough to be able to give some things away because it will definitely come back to you. So here are a couple other um, suggestions for you and I'll write them down. Have you ever sprayed the inside of a toilet paper roll in the bathroom and then leave your card and a, and a sample or a catalog in the bathroom? I love leaving my catalog, like an old catalog. Um, you can put the label. I, um, I don't know if I posted it this season, but if you have old catalogs and flyers you want to give away, there's a little poem that you can write on a label. It says, um, though this catalog may be old, look inside and you'll be sold. Contact me for a new and a discount I'll give to you or something like that. I can't remember the exact wording, but it's something like that. Um, so put those on your old catalogs and use those as the ones that you leave around in public places so that you don't feel like you have to use your new stuff. Um, the other thing, what about taking a catalog and a scent circle to an auto detailing place that you go to or your car wash? And you can use your room sprays at home and in the car. Um, but Christmas time, you could um, go take those and say, wouldn't you like to give these or have these available to your VIP customers that come in to get their car detailed? That would be a, a great gift for maybe them to stock up on for their VIP customers. The other idea is with the holidays coming, when you put a different wreath on your door for every holiday, spray it with room spray. And then when people come over, they smell your house before they even come in. And that could get the conversation going immediately. The other thing I do is I always put a scent pack or a sachet bag and I fill it with washer whips um, in the bottom of my diaper pail. If you have babies, that's a good idea. Um, it really helps. I mean, I have a scentsy warmer as well, but putting that in the diaper pail really helps. And if you work in a nursery or if you have kids that are in a nursery or childcare, at church or the gym or something, offer that. Just drop it in the bottom of the diaper pail and see if anybody notices. So there's great, great ways to have someone else come to you and ask you the question first instead of you having to go to that stranger uh, in the grocery store or at the gym or wherever you might be. So try some of those out. And as, as soon as you finish watching this video, I want you to like it. And then I want you to say one thing you're going to try in the next couple days um, to make people come to you. And I just want you to have an amazing day. It's uh, day 11 and we are trotting on through two more days of the month and I can't wait to see what happens. Um, there's some promotions coming. I can feel it. So have a great Thursday and you be good. Take care. Bye.